I think it's an incredible, unforgettable experience. This is an opera that is absolutely stunning, uh, both in terms of the story and the music. The story, which takes place in uh, World War I, it's the very famous truce between the Scottish and the Germans and the French, where uh, those people that fought each other so violently are coming together, celebrating Christmas, playing soccer, smoking cigarettes, having some brandy, and eating chocolate. And it's a very, very moving story. So on top of that story, you have this incredible music by Kevin Putz. Kevin does such a beautiful job setting each scene very powerfully, and then the genius is how he threads them together. So the battle scene, for example, I can only compare that to being in, in an IMAX theater. It is visually that stunning, and there's just sound all around you. The shock that you have after you hear something loud, when it's just kind of ringing in your ear, like he creates that, those sounds in the battle. So all this craziness is still going on, but it's as if you, who've, who's just had a shell go off near you, is looking at the scene going on, but you can only hear this kind of so he creates all of that, which is amazing. So I'm playing uh, Lieutenant Audebert, the French lieutenant. My wife and I are arguing <laughs> before I go off to war. She's pregnant with um, our child. And then in this fantastic moment before we go to battle, we hear me say, the only reason that I'm going is because of a familial obligation. As you hear from a lot of people during that time, there were military families, and I come from one of those military families. So we learned that I'm not really gung-ho like a lot of people were about going to war, but more of a familial obligation. And suffering through being away from my wife and my child. I am just one of many uh, vignettes, kind of stories that go through. Um, I'm a German opera singer that is conscripted into the war, and my girlfriend at the time is also an opera singer, very well-known soprano named Anna Sorensen. We're known for singing all over the world together. It's kind of like the Georgi Walanya kind of thing. I go to fight for the Germans, uh, and as an artist, the last thing that I'm equipped to do is kill someone in battle. And I'm put into a situation where it's kill or be killed, and I kill, and it just wrecks me as a human being, and I never recover from it. Well, so it's very strange because I'm act actually playing the part of an opera singer. Her sort of beau at the time is also a singer, and he gets drafted. So in order to c come up with a way to try and see him after four months of, of war, she... Uh, finagles a concert on Christmas Eve in the area where he's stationed with the high-ranking officers. So she, I think in many ways she represents all women because to each of the soldiers who haven't seen a woman in four months she represents their mothers, their, their girlfriends, their, you know, wh whoever the important woman is in their life, she, she sort of becomes that for, for that evening because they're sort of lacking in, in sort of the female presence, shall we say. Lieutenant Gordon, he's the lieutenant of this particular Scottish rank, the Royal Scots. He's a pretty proactive guy. He's the guy who jumps at the opportunity to have a truce, no less than anybody else, any other character in the opera. The atrocity of, 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 of the war so far is having a profound effect on him, and I think he's, as they all are, looking for some sort of a return to humanity, basically, because thus far the war has just been an unfathomable horror to him. It will move you in the moment and stay with you for days afterwards. You feel challenged and satisfied in the moment and then have questions and answers given to you in the time that comes after it. It's phenomenal. I think I could say that Silent Night is a, a masterful 21st century transition between, say, film and opera. It really lives in the world that we're in and it conveys beautifully, emotionally to the audience. I come to this piece from a very personal point of view um, I was actually in the army for three years and I was involved in uh, a battle. Um, and the thing that struck me when I first encountered this piece, being a soldier uh, and being caught in this world of violence, you always in the back of your mind have the people that you love with you. And there's always that great fear of not seeing them again, not being able to be back. And this was one of the most horrible wars in history, uh, so many people died. This is in their memory, and in the memory of all the soldiers that died uh, during all those wars in history. <laughs>